have to look at like in the <laughs> I always wanted my tippy toes for this point. Okay. There's not much you can see. Okay. Uh, so I didn't know that was right there. Okay. Well, what do you usually keep it? Well, we want to be rubbing above six. Six? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no matter where it's in here, you're fine. Okay. Visual approach, runway 21 left in use. Notice airman. Hatchway Hotel closed. Hazardous weather information for Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio is available on high watch and flight service frequencies. Advise on this contact, give information x-ray. X-ray. Altitude. Right. Uh, here's your VSI. Okay. Okay, and here is your airspeed tape. Okay. Notice they're backed up in, in part. Here's your artificial horizon, altimeter, and airspeed, airspeed. indicator. Okay. Okay. This always takes you through uh, talking about your qualifications of a pi as a pilot, what kind of environment you're going to fly in, and et cetera, et cetera. They want you to review that, how the cap system works. Okay. So we're going to go right over here. We're going to pull that off. Okay. And we're going to pull this pin. Okay. So if we need to use the cap system, we have to pull down. It takes about 40 pounds of pressure to okay. whatever. The fastest airspeed we could pull it down, standard what is under 133 knots. And what, and there what have been greater pools. Than okay. That. And it is effective at 500 feet above the ground. That's what I was going to... For me here. Thank you very much. And so now the map comes up. Okay. All right. And shows traffic. This shows traffic and weather. And weather. Okay. Okay. Um, or taxiing. Okay. We'll just say show checklist. And then you can see it. You know, we're avionics. And some people like to use the checklist, some people like the paper. Okay. I, I just wanted to show you that. Okay. okay. Lunkin Ground, Cirrus, November 228, Tango Romeo is at Hangar 2, ready to taxi to the active runway with information X-ray via for departure to the south. Cirrus 228, Tango Romeo, Lunkin Ground, runway 2 on left, taxi via taxiway, Charlie. Power back. Yeah, okay, so here we are at 4. Power back. <laughs> I'm trying to look around, like, where's my power? Right? Come on. Oh, toe brake. Tap it. I'm confused with, do I use the toe brake or the rudder? Because right now I'm trying to use rudder. Yeah. So and I'm just going to... Only gonna... use rudder when you're nice and straight. Okay. When you need to make a turn... Just tap. You tap the toe tap. brake to stop there we the go. main. Okay, so... So it turns around the main. All right. Okay? Okay. Good. I you're think... Doing... Don't be with all that stuff. Whoa, oh, well. your mind's got too much stuff in it. Yeah. Look out. So go ahead and start your right turn. And keep it going. Oh, this moves fast. And straighten out the wheel. Keep the airplane moving and straighten Just it out. Straighten it out. Keep it. Uh, we, we're going to check them. Fifty percent. All right. Go ahead. Set them. There's fifty. And watch for the indicator light to come on. Okay. All right. Uh, parameters. Good. Everything's in the green. Everything's in the green. That's takeoff. Yep. And then we're going to rotate. What's it say? Um. Uh, 65 to 70. Probably about 70. We'll okay, and I'm going to be looking at... Right here. Right here. And, and, and you also have and one right, down here. Yeah, this is what I'm used to looking at. All right, all right. How you doing, Lauren? Excellent. Are you? You're so quiet back there. I'm just taking it all in. Are you? <laughs> you haven't fallen asleep yet? Fascinating. Wow, this is a lot more involved than what I'm used to. Lunkin Tower, November 228, Tango Romeo is holding short of runway 525, ready for departure. Number 228, Tango Romeo, Lunkin Tower, hold short of runway 25 for landing traffic. So go ahead and turn onto the runway. Okay. Hands on the power, right. obviously. I'll, I'll help you with the rudder. Yeah. Center the airplane. Okay. All right, let's bring the power up to full. You got the rudder? I got the rudders. Full power. Full All power. Way. Boom, boom. Keep it that way. Okay. I got the rudders. You got the on. rudder? Airspeed is active. Airspeed's alive. Patience is a virtue here when we're flying. There's 60. There's 60, 70. Slight Rotate. back pressure. And you're flying. There we go. Woohoo. Trim your nose down for me. Just a little. Like this? Left. Okay. Get the air class bound and challenge Traffic. 3,000. Traffic. Traffic. Don't worry about that. Okay. Well, I'm not used to looking at all of this, so. Look outside. Yeah. Challenger 302, Kilo Charlie. Well, I want to see my rate of climb. Three miles. Push your nose down, down, down a little bit. That's what I was wondering. Climbing out of 3,200 now. Yeah, okay. Oh, we're here. just sending a look at 302. We're looking to get some speed. Now let's get rid of the flaps. Okay. Up. Flaps up. Yep. 
See how that speed A little balloon, up? okay. Now it's pitch to about 96. 96. Okay. You're already at 100. I know. So go to and pitch yourself for 96. Where do you park? 96. Uh, uh, the top up. line, I'm picking somebody up down there at uh, uh, right by the uh, B. To the map. Excellent. Wow. Good airspeed, 98 for the climb. Okay. All right. You got your nose nicely on the horizon, maybe yeah. a little bit below. Okay. Uh, flying yeah. outside, you're climbing at 500 feet a minute. Okay, there it is. That's what I was wondering. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a sensitive. Let's make a right turn to a heading of about 165. There we go. You know, you get used to everything a certain way. Okay, a little higher. All right, pitch, power and trim, 2,500 feet. Okay. Look at how fast you're going at 70% power. And I'm going right here, that's 45. That's 30. That's 30? This is 45? Yep. Whoops, I'm going to keep my nose up. But still 30. <laughs> I'm being prudent. <laughs> Are you okay, Lauren? Am I getting sick? How's the passenger? Out there filming is all I know. Good. Good, okay. good, good. All right, roll out. And as you roll out, push the nose forward, right? Right turn, right rudder, 45 degree. You're going to need right rudder. All right, roll, roll out. out. We're not going to do a stall, are we? No. Okay. So we're going to do some slow flight. Got it. Uh, children. About 70 initially and maintain that 2,700 feet. We're there around it. I want you to get the feeling now. Trim, trim, trim. Get the feeling of flying the airplane slow. Okay. Make a nice slow turn to the left. A medium bank, about five degrees or so. Okay. Oh. Nice so and I slow. Need to Everything is what? Much more sloppy in slow fly, right? Yes. This is just the rolling hills of Kentucky and Yeah. Five Juliet yeah. Lunkin Ground from the uh, south line. Just plan on a uh, two one left departure with a back taxi. Taxi via Bravo Taxiway. Hold short of two one left at Bravo. Do you run up there? Let me know on tower frequency right? when you're ready to go. You can start lowering down the pattern altitude. You want me to come down? Okay. Oh yeah, sure. You're only uh, five miles away. Okay. So we're going to go on a left downwind? Or? That's correct. Oh, man. Your airplane coming down, though, 500 okay. feet. And bring your power back. Well, 2-5 is the one straight in front of us. Going yeah. this way. That's right. The parallels are 2-1. Right. So we're going to enter on a 45? Oh, enter on a 45. You're going to turn to a heading of 070, All right, right? We should be doing that now, no? Yeah, pretty much so. Go ahead. You can start it. Bring your power back okay. a little bit more. And proceed on course. 45 to it. Maintain 1500. You're doing that nicely. Keep that turn coming. You're doing that nicely. About 30 degrees to go. You're a beam of the numbers. See it? 25? Yeah. Give yourself 50% flaps. Okay. Bring your power back to 25. Our approach speed here is at 85. I'm trimming the nose down for you. Okay. So you descend. Okay. <laughs> All right.